Hello and welcome to Lake Street News. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Hannah. And I'm Natalie. This week is the start of the well-produced play called Stage Fright. On Tuesday, I had a chance to talk to one of the cast members, Riley. We also have a, cha we also have a couple preview clips from the play. Let's take a look. course of four acts and um, there's this ghost and he is basically inhabiting this theater and over the course of four acts uh, he needs four people to be killed in order for him to come back to life and have complete control over this theater. Looks scary. I can't wait to go see it. The two people that put their hearts and souls into this play are none other than Miss Tino and Maddie Carroll. They have worked so hard to making this show possible that they have never missed a rehearsal. Ever. Wow, that is dedication. For those who don't know what this play is about, it's about a man called Merlin Black. Merlin Black thought if he could kill himself over a Ouija board, that he could come back to life. But to do that, he would have to kill four other people over the Ouija board. Over the years since Merlin Black had killed himself, he has tried to make his dream come true. This production will be playing in the Black Box Theater, going through Thursday until Sunday. You can get tickets at the cafeteria and at the door. Times are November 3rd, 4th, and 5th at 7 p.m. And the 6th is at 2. We hope to see you there. And my sister and I also are in the play as well, so please do come. Ach du mein gut. Good gracious. It feels like the German exchange students just arrived. Three weeks ago, the class from Germany journeyed across the Atlantic Ocean to study in Ithaca. On October 13th, time 0500, the class made their final landing in the back parking lot of IHS, and there they still witnessed the dawn of their journey. Sadly, the German exchange students left before we were able to get an interview with them. However, we were able to sit down with two Ithaca students that participated in the project. Let's take a look. I think that my exchange student, Pia, and I, we got along really well, and like we were pretty similar, like we had pretty similar habits, like in, like at home life, we like did the same things and we like had a, like the same schedule and we were just really compatible. Yeah, I think Frau Wintermut did a good, did a good job matching people, so I think people's personalities really went well together. In an eager embrace, IHS naturally brought the Germans under their wings. For four, for three weeks, the exchange students lived in the Ithaca lifestyle, side by side with an actual Ithacan. Finally, the closing hour fell upon the journey as the morning sun rose. Each pair once united was divided in the wistful morning of the first. The Germans departed from Ithaca in the early morning rise and landed in Germany by later nightfall. Safe and sound, they are home now. That's all for our show. I'm Hannah for Natalie, and we'll see you next time. Stay warm, IHS. <laughs>